someone? Are you always this one? How oh, now, pal of mine? Don't be surprised if you hear more than a few unkind words about yours truly around town. An overseer's got to enforce his share of unpopular guild decisions, you know. I'm finished with this one pony rodeo, though. And I did my best by these rough nicks. And now it's time for old Brandon to take a load off. In fact... I must say, I'm also intrigued. Ha ha! I knew a sauce hunter perk up at the sound of a challenge. Between you and me, the Troll King's sitting on a piece of treasure of more value than even he knows. A metal called Tenebrium that can fetch a prettier sum than its weight in gold. I intend to lift it, sell it, and live out the rest of me days in comfort. The devil's in the details, though, and I haven't managed to find a way to access the King's Cave, much less make off with the stuff without being noticed. But you're a source hunter! You can sniff out any point of mystery. So let's make a deal, hmm? You find the Tenebrium and bring it to me, and I'll deliver you a few pieces of information about Silverglen, and Lardens in particular, that are sure to make your mouth water. I wouldn't wish the Ross on me worst enemy, though. So let me give you a little something to contain the Tenebrium bars. It's lined with the fragments of a special stone that keeps rats ill effects at bay. Apart from Gungir's stature and incurable case of the uglies, it's not so different from a parakeet. Got a brain the size of a pea and a fervent passion for all things bright and shiny. The nutty oaf sits on a river of silver beneath these mines, but leases it to the mining company for a fraction of its worth in gold. He'd rather put those hefty minions of his on toll duty than mine these hills himself for five times the reward. I can't be certain myself where his cave is located, but at least one of those oaf lackeys of his must know where to look. They've got to do something with all the gold they've gathered in the course of guarding those damn bridges, haven't they? I'm no man to refuse a source hunter. Ask away, friend. That circus rolled into town shortly after the Tenebrium was discovered. Some freak woman with a freak gemstone managed to cure rot by some strange magic and convinced most of the locals that she were the conduit of the goddess or some such tripe. A strange sort of substance, discovered here around two years ago, and folks have been clamouring to get their paws on their rancid stuff ever since. To the right buyer, it's worth more than diamonds. Ross, oh, you're a curious sort of fella, aren't you? Ask around. Half the men here have a brother who died from it. The other half were cured by that cult. Lardens actually invited those bug-eyed creeps here himself. The miners were dropping like flies, and goblins had more of a natural tolerance for the work. Little did we know they'd overrun the place in a matter of months. I remember him well. Decent man, strong-backed, but something of a funny accent, no? He managed to leave Silver Glen alive, but as I recall, the symptoms of wrath were already upon him. Well, kick my cap and call me Sue. Taking tasks from back dealers, are we? God's almighty. Walgraf doesn't share Madora's skepticism in the least. The he knows well that where there are trolls, there is gold. Over here, sweet cheeks. Oh, I'm aching to share a moment A salutoin, hunter. What can I do for you?
Oh, I am ready to hang that, how you say, uh, son of lady dog from highest branch. I will do my best to give answer, source hunter. Hello again, or... ones out there, Wanderer. Their blood is impure.
into the fray once more. Coming to Frederick's aid, he's been attacked, turned upon by his imp slave. Cast down this hillside like an aged parent of a cragged sea cliff, left to be devoured by arachnid monstrosities. Who Frederick is is unimportant. He is naught but a cog in the machinery of the greater good. But, since you ask, since you cannot bear to remain unknowing of this person, Frederick will tell you this. He is a devotee to the Goddess, to the Church of the Immaculates, to liberty, destiny, justice and beauty, to scholasticism, mysticism, aphorism, nepotism, neologism, dissertion. Frederick finds himself where... Don't look so surprised. Imps have a long history of compulsory service to the superior races of Rivalon. Frederick would be a fool to refuse the services of the realm's finest bloodstone-sniffing beast on moralistic grounds, no matter how humane or well-reasoned. A valuable artifact, precious like the silence in a house newly emptied of a visiting mother-in-law, it is able to heal even the gravest wounds, and it is a key component of the... The bloodstone? Give it here! Come! Frederick wants to march back to the... Am we can't ignore this man's suffering for our own benefit. Keeping that stone would be a terrible mistake. I appreciate your keeping that bloodstone in hope of curing my lovesick heart, but I promise I'll get over you on my own. better already!